Friday's game in Durham, North Carolina, will be the Hurricanes' first taste of ACC action. This match could be a defensive battle, as the Blue Devils are ranked in the top half of many defensive categories in the nation. That said, Miami can prove to be a challenge. Here are some key matchups for the game that will decide the Coastal Division champion. One versus one matchup Duke LB Ban Humphrey 6 foot 2, 225 pounds versus Miami RB Mark Walton 5 foot 9, 205 pounds in the 2016 season. Mark Walton rushed for 100 or more yards in the first few matches, but went through a fifigum drought in which he did not surpass 100 yards. He also rushed for 60 yards on 13, carries with a 4.62 yards per carry average against Duke. This season Walton has come out of the backfield like a man on fire. He has gone over the century mark in both games, and he had a Caribous 204 yards against Toledo. We are intrigued by Walton's game last week, and we'll be watching to see if he can follow up that incredible performance. The challenge for Duke's front seven, led by LB Ben Humphreys, will be to keep Walton's streak of rushing for 100 or more yards to just two games. Duke has stifled opposing run games to just 65.25 yards per game, ranking first in the ACC and second in the nation in that category. Prior to Friday's contest, Duke has only surrendered three rushing touchdowns in four games. With Miami averaging 285.5 rushing yards per game, something will have to give. Positional matchup Duke's front seven versus Miami's offensive line Friday night's game will be one in the trenches. The Blue Devils' defense is ranked at the top of several categories. They lead the nation in third down conversions, with opponents converting just 7 of 50 attempts on the money down. They are also tied for fourth in the country in tackles for loss 35 tackles for loss in four games for an average of 8.8 .8 per game, and have 15 sacks. The defensive line, featuring DeMike Ramsey and freshman Drew Jordan and Victor Dimikic, could disrupt Miami's offensive attack. Duke has forced nine turnovers, seven interceptions and two fumble recoveries. Its defensive unit does a solid job of getting into the backfield and forcing quarterbacks into terrible decisions. Miami's offensive line will need to provide Malik Rozier with enough time to make the throw and create holes in the run game. T. Christopher Herndon IV and the running backs could stay in to help with pass protection if the line struggles with the pass rush. The Hurricanes' offensive line will need to impose their will on their opponent in order for the offense to succeed. Kane's eye players to watch the most obvious answer should be QB Daniel Jones, a dual three at quarterback who serves as the first true test to the Canes' defense. I'm intrigued to see how defensive coordinator Manny Diaz accounts for Jones as a run threat. The Blue Devils run a potent re-adoption that's dangerous because Jones is a capable runner when he keeps the ball 42 attempts. 141 rushing yards, three touchdowns. Miami's defensive line will need to keep gap integrity in order to reduce Jones' potential to scramble. I know there is concern regarding Miami's quality of play in the secondary. However, if communication and alignment are sound in the back half of the defense, Kane's defenders will be able to create negative plays against the Duke offense. The player to watch will be RB Britton Brown for Duke. The freshman plays second fiddle to RB Sean Wilson but Brown has broken some big runs to start the season. Although he rushed for 325 yards, 24 yards less than Wilson, he has a better yards per carry average 6.25. He also has six receptions for 84 receiving yards for an average of 14 yards per catch. For the Hurricanes, this game falls on Malik Rozier. While Miami will lean on the run game, Rozier's decision-making will make or break the game. Although you can apply that logic to any game, this point will become even more important against Duke. This Duke defense is disciplined and opportunistic. The Blue Devils have returned three interceptions for touchdowns so far this season, two of them by C.B. Brian Fields Jr. While we were willing to the overlook the late game interception last week against Toledo, Rosier and the offense cannot afford to make decisions like that a trend. This game will come down to discipline. One last thing, dot dot dot. Speaking of discipline, Miami needs to cut down on the penalties. In just two games, the Hurricanes have amassed 16 penalties. In contrast, Duke has been called for 18 penalties in four games. Gone are the days when Miami could spot Duke a lead and easily make a comeback. Miami does not need to help out the Blue Devils on Friday.
if they do, Miami might find themselves looking for a late miracle to pull out a win in Durham. It's always about the U.